So over here, you can see that I have this image right here. And let's say what I want to do is I want to go around and change out the print size of this image. So to do that, I can go around onto the image menu right here and you can see that print size is an option. So if I were to go around onto print size, then you can see the width and height right here in inches. So you can see that right now the print size is 4 by 2 inches right here and the resolution per print is 300 pixels per inch. So if I were to go around and change this, let's say for example, I only need 72 pixels per inch right here, then, it, then you can see that the print size changes up. But let's say for example, if I want a really high um, uh, dots per inch, so let's say for example, if I want 600 dots per inch, then you can see that the print size changes up right here. If I were to go around and let's say for example, do 4 right here, then you can see that the pixel per inch is changes out right here. And the pixel per uh, inch is actually locked together. You can also go around and change around the resolution wise pixel per inch right here, but that is not really a good idea. So that is because the, the print is uh, proportional to each other. So you do want to go around and then link it up together. So you can also go around and base the pixel per inch on the basis of pixel per inch or millimeter right here just like this. So you can go around and let's say for example have 12 pixel per millimeter. You have points and PCCM that is a centimeter and so forth and other measurement units as well. So it all comes down to how much you can keep within one single inch um, right here and uh, uh, according to that according to the, the, to the resolution that you have right here the uh, um, and the print size change is out and that is how you can change out the print size inside of GIMP so hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe <laughs>